Hey guys, welcome back. It's Shelby and today we are going to be decorating a little terracotta plant pot. So basically this is a good size for whenever you're planting anything from a little seedling. Um, I usually get those little packets from the store sometimes and I like to plant them in pots this size. But it's just kind of like a normal terracotta pot. I want to make it a little bit cuter so what I'm going to do is paint it and add some of this really beautiful ribbon today. So it's a simple craft but it's an easy way to transform the look of terracotta pots in your home just to make them kind of match your decor a bit more or make them a little bit cuter. So I will link everything you need down in the description along with my socials as always. We're gonna get right into it but let me know if you like the video by hitting that thumbs up. Let me know what you think down in the comments and here we go. So I'm going to start just by painting it. The ribbon goes from about here to here but I want the bottom white I don't necessarily want the brown sticking out and then I'm going to paint the rim white as well so I just have um, basic acrylic craft paint uh, that's really all you need you don't need anything fancy um, just something that's gonna stick to it there's no hole in the bottom of this pot I found that in a lot of the smaller pots so I'm just going to cap that and just kind of brush it out a little bit I don't need to paint the whole thing white because the ribbon's gonna cover most of it, so I'm just painting the bottom. I don't know why, but I like finished, like finished, finished pieces, so uh, I'm always painting the bottom, even though you're never gonna see it. I'm not even gonna lift it up because there's no hole in the bottom, so I don't need the water to drain through, but I'm just going to kind of paint everything white. And I know that sounds super weird when I'm not going all the way down with the white, but I'm covering that with ribbon, and that counts as a finish, so um, yes, I know it's weird and eccentric, but that's the way it works for me, so that's what I'm doing. But basically, just paint it white down as far as you know the ribbon won't go, and let that dry. So while I'm waiting for the bottom to dry, I'm actually just going to put my scissors in here, just like that, and kind of hold it up so I can paint the rim. Um, there's really no reason for this. I just want to do it a little bit more quickly and I'm too impatient to wait for the bottom to dry. So I'm just finding a way to hold it up. If you're doing it at home, how I would suggest to do it is just wait for the bottom to dry, but I really don't want to. So we are painting the top rim right now. I'm just gonna get that all nice and finished so that it can all dry at the same time and then we can move on to the next step. So that is really the only reason and goal for painting it all at once. It's not even a really good reason, but it's what we're doing. I'm painting inside the lip as well, just a little bit. See in there? Just a little bit in there. And mainly the point of that is because I want it to look like a white pot with ribbon on it. I don't want it to look like a ter terracotta pot. So by painting the inside a little bit, see just like that, and then the dirt's gonna come up and it's going to hit the white part, so it's not going to look like a terracotta pot. It's gonna look like a white pot, hopefully, that uh, is just filled with dirt and covered with ribbon. So there we go, we have the edge done and the bottom done, and now I will wait for it to dry. So while my pot's drying, I'm just gonna prep my ribbon real quick. So I have this beautiful kind of pink and navy blue and white plaid ribbon. That's where I thought the white would go well on the pot. And I'm just gonna cut off enough that I know it will circle the pot quite well, quite easily. This is a wired ribbon that's not necessarily um, needed. It just happens to be what this one is. It's already folded back on one end, so I'm gonna fold it back on the same way on the other end, which is to say, this is now the front and they're both folded back this way. And when I glue it on, that's just going to be important so that I don't have edges sticking up. I'm gonna overlap it a little bit and hide it with the glue. And honestly, I think this is too big of a piece anyway, but it's easier to take it off and remove it than it is to add to it. So that is why I did that. But uh, yep, as soon as the pot dries, we're gonna attach this and we're gonna have a super fast, easy little planter makeover. So now that my little pot is all dry and my ribbon is cut, I have my hot glue gun heating up off to the side here. So I'm just gonna bring that up, pop another little glue stick in there because it's already dying. And then I'm just gonna go, I'm going to go underneath this little lip here. You can kind of go over it if you want, but I think that'd be easier. So I'm just gonna go under the lip, put a little bead of hot glue Kind of down. It's always hardest to get the glue to work right when you're changing a new stick. So there we go. Just run a bead of hot glue down the side. I knew I had to drop something this video. 
Take your ribbon, place the folded over edge on it with the fold down so that you don't see it and it just looks like a nice clean line. Get it nice and flat and try and mush the glue out a little bit because you're going to have to glue ribbon and another bead of glue over it. So you want that as flat as possible to the cup and you don't want it kind of sticking up. Pulled off my paint there a little bit, but it doesn't matter because it's going to be covered by ribbon. Then I'm going to bring it all the way around here. And if you want to like extra duty it, you could put a line of glue there if you want. It really doesn't matter because it's going to be glued to the cup. There's no weight on it. It's not going anywhere. So I'm going to bring it all the way around just like this. Go a little bit further so that I can uh, fold it back on itself and then just give it a trim just like that. This is just too much ribbon. It won't look nice if you fold it back on itself. So I'm gonna fold that back as much as needed, which is about a half an inch for the way I cut it. Just like that. Make sure it wraps over nicely, and it does. So now we just have this uh, little issue of it being too big down here, right? Because terracotta planters are tapered and ribbon is not. So what I'm going to do is make little fake darts. So pull it up tight to the top of the lip and then somewhere that it's not super noticeable. So for me, I think the little navy blue white is gonna be less noticeable. So I'm going to stick my finger in there, create a little divot, a little dart, just like that. We're gonna roll it underneath. See this? So I'm just gonna roll that underneath like that. And it's going to create that little uh, little V pattern there. So I'm going to come over here. This happens again over here. I'm going to create a little little V pattern dart in there, just by pinching it really, rolling it under slightly, just like that. And that was actually enough. Just two darts was enough to make it line up. This actually works out great. the The white doesn't start, so it's the blue and red and blue and red lines up really well. So what I'm going to do is take my hot glue, go back to my original dart right here, lift it up and just put a tiny little dab of hot glue in there and then push the fabric down on top of that. What that's gonna do is just lock it into place, just like that. So now that little dart is stuck, it's not going anywhere. You can kind of arrange the fabric how you want. We're gonna roll it over here. Same thing, we're gonna lift, lift the little dart up this is part where having wire ribbon helps, but again, it's definitely not necessary at all. You could totally do this with non-wire ribbon. It's just a little bit more helpful, and that is what ribbon I happen to want to use as far as I like the pattern on this ribbon. It happened to be a wire ribbon, but again, totally not necessary. Then I'm going to run down just right here, a little bit on the pot and a little bit on the fabric. Here we go, just like that. Glue on the edge down, make sure it's a nice, nice lineup. Because I've got the red and the red going through, I wanna make sure that they line up well. That's important. So it just kind of camouflages the seam a little bit. So the seam in here you can kind of see a little bit, but really not a big deal. Just kind of fold it nicely and it just looks like a little piece of the fabric. So this is it, like how cute is this? This turned out super well. It went on really fast. This is a super easy, fast craft. Like I said, letting the paint dry is the longest uh, part of the craft. That's really the longest part of any craft. I used acrylic, so it dried pretty quickly. You can see it's just really adorable. I'll do some close-ups at the end, but uh, yeah. Can't wait to plant little seedlings in this. The white goes down enough that when the dirt comes up, it's just gonna look like a white pot. All in all, I think this turned out really cute. It's a really fast, easy craft, a really, um, cute way to decorate your pot so that they match your decor. You can do this on any scale. It doesn't have to be a little pot. It could be a giant pot. It could be a medium sized pot. Um, that was meant to be like giant and medium. That was what the dipping was. Um, but uh, yeah, hopefully you guys thought this was a cool craft, found it helpful, something like that. But uh, I really do enjoy sharing my crafts with you guys. So thank you so much for stopping by and uh, sharing this with me. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you here again soon. Bye for now. So this is a close-up of the little planter pot. You can see where we did our dart. You can kind of see where the seam is. And the other dart right there, just to make sure the bottom and the top matches up all the way around inside.
can see the white lip going down. So yeah, all in all, I think it turned out pretty well and I'm very pleased with this.